is over, folks. This is SmackDown. The usual cast of characters is with me, bringing you all this exciting WWE action live from ringside. Stay tuned, folks, because we've got an amazing match card on tap. There he is, King, getting set for one of the biggest matches of his career. Walking past all the other superstars and uh, oh, gotta get the cold shoulder there to those two. This is gonna be a great match. The match we have next is going to be awesome. Stay where you are. We have one of our breakout talents against an imposing adversary. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from El Dorado, weighing in at 315 pounds, the superstar. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. This will undoubtedly be one of those SmackDown matches you talk about for a long time to come. Superstars look geared up and ready to go. Clearly, this SmackDown crowd can't wait for this one to get started. What is up console superstars and how are you all doing today? I am hoping you guys are all having an alarming day and night, but in a good way. So this is our first match. We got a singles match as our first matchup and we are facing the same guy that in the beginning of WWE 2K17 my career, we saw him win the NXT I believe championship. So I thought it was pretty ironic that our first matchup ever was against him. Now I know you guys see the fit I got on, I put on some blue pants with the boots, got a little arm sleeve going on, but I'm thinking about maybe switching up the gear very soon, maybe taking off some tattoos as well, just because I'm trying to make myself have a cleaner look, but if you guys are digging the tattoos and how he looks basically, then just let me know and I will keep them. I'm thinking about also changing his hair, maybe growing his hair out a little bit or getting a haircut and going a little bit balder. Who knows what we're gonna do, but I'm planning on making some big changes to this WWE character. Now, one thing I also want you guys to tell me is, do you guys want to hear the commentators in terms of when the matches are going on or would you rather have me basically just commentate over it and tell you guys what's going on etc I think it's best for me to commentate whenever the matches are going on because that's the time I can basically communicate without ever interrupting any cinematic or anything along those lines but I want you guys to tell me what you guys want to hear if you guys want to hear me commentate over the matches or if you guys want to hear the WWE 
WWE announcers basically commentate over the matches. Anyways, here we are facing Finn. He was beating us for a quick second. He was just putting the smackdown on us. But for the majority of the matchup, I say we were in control for a good three-fourths of the matchup. And then he was in control for a good one-fourth of the matchup. And then after that, we just completely took over. So I want to say the first 30 seconds we had taken over the next 30 he had taken over and then for like the next three minutes or so we just destroyed him completely right there we did the finisher and of course i'm gonna pin him right after it he unlike samoa joa or samoa joe whatever that dude's name was he gave up right away we beat him by pinfall so that felt spectacular but you guys know one thing we wanted to break out of here and we wanted to show the wwe universe that we are not the ones to mess with and that we will be become villains if we have to we will become the face if we have to but we show no remorse to anybody at all especially if we face him him right here i had basically destroyed him completely i'm over here just adding some damage to injury honestly speaking and all i really wanted to do was maybe make him bleed or something along those lines so that's what i've been trying to do i like it that when you press charge finisher the dude gets up and basically lets you do the finisher and we actually make him bleed this one time right here so we are in pretty good hands here and then the wwe universe is basically giving up giving us the thumbs down etc and then we go for an interview right after so she asked let's talk about what happened out there tonight i go on well, she continues on and she says, so what was it that you wanted to share with the WWE Universe tonight? And out of the choices I had, I thought this one was best. So I told them, I said, I can't stand them all because they were booing me. So I said, I want to let the WWE Universe know that I can't stand them. They should be cheering for me and no one else. I'm the greatest. I'm the best in the business. Are they that dumb? Probably so. Do I got to spell it out for them? Who they should be cheering for? Looks like it. Let me spell it out for all of you. I'm the best in the WWE. You got that and with that we end today's video so if you like the gameplay and commentary make sure you guys thumbs up the video if you guys want to see more wwe 2k17 my career make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and as always guys have a great day and night stay positive keep on grinding keep on smiling and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out console superstars and i'll finish the cinematic really quickly as she says well there you have it back to you guys